My name is Pete Dalton. I'm the broker owner of Coldwell Banker Vanguard Realty, and I want to thank you for coming today. And I want to talk about your business. But before I do, I want you to know that we are now in a digital world. As you can see, there's nobody here, but due to the power of digital, uh, I am able to communicate with people all around the world. This is the first in a series of three videos that we have made to introduce what is absolutely groundbreaking programs to help agents. I feel that making the material in these videos yours will change your real estate career for the better. The three videos are, number one, the three things you must master in order to succeed long-term as a real estate professional. Number two, presenting our new program that we call Insider View in such a way that it is a compelling reason to list with you. And then number three, using Client Connect to generate more business with less effort and less expense. All sounds good, doesn't it? Let's talk about what you have to master to succeed as a real estate agent. First of all, there are so many things that you have to be able to do well to be successful, it's mind-boggling. You have to know the mechanics of the business. That means you have to be able to write purchase and sale agreements for multiple different types of financing. You have to know how to do listing contracts. You have to be able to understand and complete a competitive market analysis. You have to know how to navigate the MLS. You have to be able to use ProWorks. The list of mechanical things you have to do, frankly, goes on and on. You have to know how to operate. So that means you have to be able to set up showings. You have to be able to negotiate contracts. You have to deal with difficult people, although that doesn't happen very often, does it? You have to be able to plan your time. You have to be able to run your CRM. All of these are very important. You have to know how to sell. You have to know how to handle that incoming buyer call. You need to know how to convert that seller call to an appointment. You need to know how to convert a lead, and you need to know how to close the sale. Frankly, the list of subjects that you have to excel at before we even talk about the hours you have to work is exhausting. However, at the core of the business, there are three skills. If you have these three skills, the rest will come. If you do not, it will always be a struggle and you'll always know that you left business and money on the table. There are three essential skills required to build a real estate business. They are. You have to be able to, number one, generate leads. If you can't generate leads, you're in trouble. Number two, you have to be able to convert those leads. And number three, you have to be able to build your clientele so that next year is better than this year. There are countless ways of generating leads. Among them are magazine ads. We all used to use magazine ads. Your name on the for sale sign. A lot of people don't remember this, but agency names didn't used to be on for sale signs. Your name on the side of your car. Occasionally I still see that around the back window. It used to be uh, wildly popular. Everybody had the name on the side of their car. Your name on a billboard. Your name on a bus bench. Your name on, uh, on a menu in a diner. All of these things have mostly gone. They have been replaced by your ad on the radio. Your own radio show, which doesn't last very long usually, by the way. Postcards to houses that surround the, your new listing. Internet ads. Social media ads and blogs. Zillow and Realtor.com ads. Everyone has a strategy or should have a strategy. But that is only one third of the deal. Your lead strategy will change multiple times over your career as new ways appear and old ways become passe. There are two things that if you do them right, will never change. Those are, number one, how to convert a listing, and number two, how to build your business. Frankly, most agents never figure out either one of these. However, all productive agents have figured out both of them. Let's talk about the second skill. Let's talk about how to be successful on a listing appointment, even if you're competing with another highly successful agent. If you find five listing opportunities, and only list three of them, how much time, how much effort, how much money did you leave on the table? What if you could list four out of five? Or nine out of 10? Would the real estate business be easier? I think it would. If you can not only find the lead, but also convert the lead a greater percentage of the time, the business becomes easier, 
the business becomes more profitable, it becomes less stressful, because finally, you are in control of what you're doing. Makes sense, doesn't it? In our listing video, we're going to talk about how to present our Insider View program and explain why we are the better choice. We're going to talk about how to use minor point closes to gain agreement that we're the right agency and the right agent. And then finally, we're going to sell the price and the commission. If we understand how to make the sale and we understand the ninja way of running our business, we will be successful long term as real estate professionals. The third issue we're going to talk about is how you grow your business. This is a huge problem for most of us. We spend a lot of money doing this. We send postcards to the houses that are around the house that we've listed. We send postcards to houses that are around the house that we sold. That's a Vanguard exclusive, by the way. We keep our CRMs. We pay Brian Buffini to tell us how to do this. We pay Tom Ferry to tell us how to do this. We send Market Maker to literally hundreds of houses. We run campaigns of postcards. What we don't do is approach this like professional marketers do. Professional marketers will tell you that you have to reach people 9 to 11 times to have even a chance of getting their business. With a long sales cycle and a small prospect group that is hard to target, this is something that we as an industry, frankly, don't do very well. We have two problems. They are, number one, it costs too much. If we are paying $1 per contact and we have 250 contacts that we need to reach, 11 times to have an opportunity, we have invested almost $3,000 before we have a, even a reasonable chance of generating business. That's a commitment that frankly is very hard to keep. The next problem we have is we're simply not consistent. We're all salespeople. If we are too busy, we don't make the contacts. If we are too tired, we don't send the postcards. If we are low on funds, we don't do the marketing. And when we stop, all the money that we have spent goes down the drain. Before we talk about that, let's talk about converting listings. When I was a brand new salesperson, I listed more individual homes than any other agent in the Jacksonville MLS. Back then, the MLS sponsored three listing contests a year, and I won all three of them. I rarely went on a listing appointment, decided I wanted the listing, and didn't get it. Agents used to ask me my secret, and frankly, I wouldn't tell them. But I will tell you my three secrets to listing success because they are still relevant today. They were, and they are. Number one, you've got to be prepared. You have to know your stuff. You have to know what you're going to say. I was one of the few agents who had a presentation and I knew what I was going to say on every single bullet point in that presentation. I knew every minor point close. I knew where I was going to end up and how I was going to ask for the business. If you just sort of wing it, depending upon your audience, you're not going to be prepared. I didn't say exactly the same thing every day, but I made the same points on the same pages. That's secret number one. Number two. You've got to be consistent. Lack of consistency is the biggest reason anybody fails at any single endeavor. You have to be consistent. You can't work on listings one week and then not for the next two weeks. Going on appointments, even if you don't get the listing, will keep you sharp. Get as many appointments as you can, especially when you are learning, and you will find that the more you go on, the better you become at honing your skill. And number three, you have to have a competitive edge. You have to have a point of difference. And I would tell you that of the three secrets, this is the most important. You have to look at sales from the customer side. If you are a seller, you want good service. But mostly, what you want is exposure so that you can get the highest price. If I'm a seller and I like two agents, which happens all the time, you need to have a competitive advantage that gets you the listing instead of the other agent. I know that you have gotten that phone call. You know, we really enjoyed meeting with you, but we've decided to go in a different direction. It was a difficult choice. If it doesn't work out, we will call you. You were great. 
Haven't you gotten that? Didn't it suck? Of course it did. You thought you had that listing. What happened? You think the owner decided that the other agent would give better service? You think the owner decided the other agent would make more follow-up calls? I don't think so. The owner decided that the other agent had a better chance of selling his house for more money. Period. End the story. At the end of the day, the issue is who is going to get me the most money? Either by promising a higher sales price or two, offering a lower commission. When I was selling, we had a problem. All of us did the same thing. We all put a sign in the yard. We all put the house in the MLS. We all ran an ad in the newspaper. And if we had to, we all agreed to run a magazine ad. There weren't any other options. That was it. Actually sounds a little bit like today, doesn't it? The only difference is now we put it on 489 websites, including Zillow, Realtor.com, and our franchise site. That is about all that we can do, and that is about all that most agents do. We might make a nicer flyer, but that's not going to get us home. Where is our point of difference? You know, when I sold, I had a point of difference, a reason why the seller should choose me rather than the other agent that he liked. The thing that kept me from getting the dreaded, you really were great, and it was a very hard decision phone call, was my point of difference. You know what it was? It was a pager, a beeper. If you go back to the dawn of history, pagers were new technology. Nobody except doctors had pagers. I was the first non-medical person in Jacksonville to have a pager. Frankly, it was a huge risk for me. In 1973, it was a $100 deposit. It was $30 a month, which is a dollar a day, and it was 25 cents per beep. And I had to sign a year's contract. And I had to convince the pager company to lease it to me under those terms. But that was my competitive advantage. My presentation went like this. Mr. Seller, when a buyer's out looking for homes, they don't just call one ad or call on just one yard sign. They go through the paper and they circle all the ads they want, or they ride through the neighborhood, and they write down the addresses of all the properties that they're interested in. Then they go home and they call all of the agencies. Are you with me so far? That's a close, by the way. When that happens, the receptionist takes down the buyer's phone number, and because real estate salespeople who are productive don't spend much time in the office, the receptionist writes a message that the salesman picks up when he comes into the office at the end of the day. Makes sense, doesn't it? That was a close also. I am the only real estate agent in North Florida who carries one of these. It is a pager. Are you familiar with it? And at that point, I take the pager out and I hand it to him and he looks at it because he's probably never seen one before. I take it back and I say, what this does is enable the office secretary to call me when a call comes in rather than picking up my messages at the end of the day. Let me show you how it works. I get the seller to dial the number on his rotary phone, okay? And five seconds later, I get the page. I say, see, I immediately am notified that you have called me and I get your phone number. Now what can I do? I can follow up immediately. So do you see why this is important? Mr. Seller, when a buyer calls three or four or five companies, who has the best choice of working with him? An agent who calls back immediately or the agent who calls back at the end of the day? That's a close also, by the way. That's correct, Mr. Seller. When I am that agent, am I more interested in selling your property or am I more interested in selling the listing of some other agent? Also a close. Mr. Seller, do you see why no other agent in North Florida can offer this? Do you see why so many sellers list with me and why I sell so many homes? This is a close. Mr. Seller, I would like to go to work for you tonight. That's also a close. Mr. Seller, this is the standard MLS agreement. All I need is your approval right here, and that is the final close. What did I do there? I created a point of difference, a competitive edge, that no one else had. It was a competitive edge in the ability to explain it to the seller that earned the 
listing. What obstacles do we face today? We all say the same thing. We all say that we're going to put a sign in the yard. Does that sound familiar? Put it in the MLS. That sounds familiar, right? And put it on an untold number of websites. If we are creative, we also say that we're going to use special positioning on Zillow, use social media to promote the house, or run a postcard campaign. There are three problems with this. They are, number one, the seller doesn't have any metrics to say, oh, if you do this, then so many more people will see my listing. It's all out there in the ether, okay? Number two, it's not exclusive. Every agent can use special positioning on Zillow, post it on social media, run a postcard campaign. We have eliminated the average competition when we do extra things, but we haven't eliminated the good competition that does the same things. And then number three, most importantly, even if we do more, we don't market what we do correctly. Your competitive advantage, your point of difference is Insider View. This is a better marketing plan than any of your competition has. This is something no other agency can do. This is a program that if you sell it correctly, the seller can see how it's an advantage to him. Lastly, Insider View is marketed as a program instead of as a bunch of things that you do to sell the listing. Once again, this is your point of difference. It is your competitive advantage. This is the tool that will help you sell four out of five or nine out of 10 listing opportunities. Your job is to learn how to use the tool. Watch the listing video that is part of this series. Learn the slides one at a time. Practice the first one until you've got it, then practice the second one until you've got it, then practice the two of them together, then learn the third one and so on and so on, and learn until you learned all of them. Then learn your closes. You have to know when you're gonna close and what you're gonna say. Tape what you say, listen to it, then do it again and do it better. When you understand the power of what you have, you will be unstoppable. You have the competitive edge that no other agent in North Florida has. Learn how to use it. Combine it with your lead generation activities and you have solved two of the three essential skills required to build a successful real estate career. So take the time. Understand how these programs will build your career. When you lead the way, you stand out from the crowd. Thank you for your time.